Summer brings scorching heat and unrelenting dryness, which may result to common and dreadful diseases, if precautions are not taken. Here are 10, of some of the most common diseases in summer, proving that hell, is definitely, on earth. Heat stroke, or hyperthermia, is a common summer disease that results from prolonged exposure to high temperatures. It is preceded by signs of heat exhaustion like headaches, dizziness and weakness, and results in unconsciousness, organ failure and eventually, death. One tip for treating hyperthermia, is by outside cooling of the body with the help of water, cold air or ice packs. You can also do internal cooling, by flushing the stomach or rectum. Athlete's foot, is a common type of fungal infection, that makes skin between your toes itchy and uncomfortable. It can happen any time of the year, but it often develops if you have sweaty feet in warm, damp environments, which occurs usually during summer. Avoid getting athlete's foot by making sure your feet are dry and protected. Consider using an antifungal powder in your shoes and between your toes. Furthermore, change your socks if you sweat through them, and don't wear wet shoes, Dehydration is one of the most common problems that occur in the summer, when water intake does not compensate for water loss. During summer, we tend to lose a lot of water and salts in the form of sweat, without realizing it. This needs to be replenished for the normal functioning of the body. Chicken pox is also one of the most common summer diseases. Common symptoms include scabs, blisters, itchy skin, redness, high-grade fever, loss of appetite, and headache. The itchy blister rash caused by chickenpox infection, appears 10 to 21 days after exposure to the virus, and usually lasts about 5 to 10 days. Scratching the blisters can tear your skin and leave scars. Scratching also can let germs in, and the blisters could get infected. These tips can help you feel less itchy, keep cool because heat and sweat will make you itch more. Another common disease in the summer is the mumps. It is an extremely contagious viral disease, which is known to occur mainly in children during the peak of summer. It can be transmitted when an infected person sneezes or coughs into neighboring people. It affects the parotid gland in front of the ears, causing severe swelling, pain, and fever. Treatment is usually limited to medicines for pain, and plenty of fluids. Sometimes, bed rest is necessary the first few days. Adults should stay home from work for 5 days, after glands begin to swell. Measles, is a common summer disease, which is a contagious respiratory infection caused by a virus. Its initial symptoms include high fever, cough, runny nose, sore throat and red eyes. These symptoms later progress to measles rash and tiny white spots within the mouth. The rashes are seen around the hairline and face in most cases. There's no specific treatment for measles. Unlike bacterial infections, viral infections are not sensitive to antibiotics. The virus and symptoms typically disappear in about 2 or 3 weeks. There are some interventions available for people, who may have been exposed to the virus. Folliculitis is an infection that forms in hair follicles. Folliculitis looks like pimples, but the bumps are often tender or itchy. It's a common skin condition in the summer, because poor clogging bacteria thrive on sweaty skin. Showering as soon as you can after you sweat, is the best way to prevent folliculitis. Don't rewear sweaty clothing. To reduce buildup in pores, consider using a non-comedogenic sunscreen on your whole body. Sunburn is possibly the most common summer skin concern. Even if you wear sunscreen and reapply it regularly, Chances are, you will still get a painful red burn, at one time or another. To minimize sunburn, wear sunscreen with an SPF of at least 30 every day, to protect your skin. Furthermore, consider wearing clothing with UV blocking properties, and a wide brimmed hat to shield your face. If you do notice a sunburn, stay out of the sun as it heals. More sun exposure can heighten skin damage. 
When sweat glands get clogged, sweat cannot escape your body. Instead, it will build up under your skin, and an itchy rash of tiny bumps can form. This skin problem is sometimes called prickly heat, because skin feels prickly, when the bumps burst. You can help prevent getting a heat rash, by avoiding outdoor activities during the hottest part of the day. Furthermore, wear cool, loose-fitting clothing. And if you do sweat, wipe it away to keep your skin as dry as possible. To lower your body temperature, consider taking cool showers. If you are spending time in the sun this summer, it could increase your risk for developing skin cancer. Skin cancer is the most common type of cancer in the United States. It develops when harmful ultraviolet rays from the sun, trigger abnormal skin cell growth. The best way to prevent skin cancer, is to stay in the shade when the sun is the strongest, from 10 o'clock in the morning, until 4 in the afternoon. Protect your skin with sunscreen, and cover up with clothing and a broad brimmed hat. If we are experiencing these dreadful, awful, and frightful diseases on earth, what more will we experience in the actual hell, where the temperature and heat, are far much, much, worse. <laughs>